Well, breaking news coming in according to media reports, Air Asia has crashed in the Belitung Islands in Indonesia. According to CCTV news, the wreckage has been found in Belitung. But there has been no confirmation from Air Asia yet. I'd like to repeat that these are local media agency reports which have not yet been confirmed by Air Asia. There are 162 people on board the QZ8501. The details that we're getting as per local media reports is that uh, the wreckage of uh, Air Asia has in fact been found. According to the reports, the Air Asia aircraft cl uh, crashed in the Belitung Island in Indonesia. According to CCTV News, the wreckage has been found in Belitung, but there has been no confirmation from Air Asia yet. There are, remember, 162 people on board flight QZ8501, which was bound to arrive in Singapore at 8.30 a.m. Deputy Editor Smita Sharma now joins me live for more. Smita, what's the latest information that you have? Well, the news doesn't seem to be very heartening at the moment, uh, Rishika, because, uh, you know, as per the airline release, of course, they say that the rescue operations are on and that the Jakarta air traffic control really lost control, lost contact at 7.54 hours as far as this airline was concerned, which has 16, um, you know, women, one infant, a uh, total of six crew members, of course, right. all the passengers and various nationalities. But uh, there are unconfirmed reports at the moment coming in, of course, often, uh, you know, various media organizations also informing about a separate air crash which seems to have happened close to Indonesia. We do not know whether these two incidents are related as of now or not. Okay. That is something that uh, with the dots will have to be connected. But for now, of course, uh, uh, rescue operations being pressed into services. All right. Uh, rescue operations have, in fact, been pressed into service. Uh, a local uh, press release that was, in fact, given out uh, by the Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore seems to suggest that two uh, C-130s are, in fact, already on standby for this purpose. The Singapore Rescue Coordination Center, managed by the Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore, uh, and supported by various agencies including the Air Force and the Navy in Singapore have in fact been activated and have offered to help the Indonesian authorities in search and rescue operations. Also, uh, for the benefit of our viewers, I'd just like to uh, take you through the latest statement that uh, Air Asia has in fact put out. Air Asia Indonesia regrets to inform that flight QZ8501 from Sarabia to Singapore has lost contact with the ATC at 7.24 hours. This morning, the flight took off from Runda International Airport in Sarabia at uh, 5.35 uh, this morning. The aircraft was an Airbus 320-200 with the registration number PKAXC. There were two pilots, four flight attendants and one engineer on board. The captain in command, remember, had a total of 6,100 flying hours and the first officer a total of 2,200 and uh, 75 flying us. There were 155 passengers on board. That is what Air Asia is confirming. Out of the 155 passengers, 138 adults, 16 children, and one infant. There were also two pilots and five cabin crew members on board. The nationalities of the passengers and crew members are basically there's one Singaporean, one Malaysian, three South Korean, and 157 of them are believed to be. Indonesian. My colleague Pankaj Upadhyay now joins me live for more. Uh, Pankaj, uh, there are unconfirmed reports at this point in time that seem to suggest uh, that flight QZ8501 has in fact crashed, but uh, Air Asia, of course, not confirming that uh, as of now. Uh, Rishika, since we had a cha uh, chat last time, we was trying to uh, gather some of the possibilities of uh, things which probably could have gone wrong with the plane with the various aviation experts. And I've been able to jot down uh, some of the possibilities. Uh, one, uh, the aviation experts contend that if at all there was an explosion in the sky, then definitely it would have been known. There would have been debris around. Nothing has been uh, found as of now. We are also learning that two uh, C-130s uh, have been uh, out for the search operations. You know, Airbus 320 is a huge and sophisticated aircraft. It simply just cannot vanish like that. Secondly, uh, the question that we are looking at, whether there was an engine failure, because after a point of time, when it was asking for a low descent uh, at around 200 nautical miles from Singapore, Jakarta, FIR boundary, that is the flight information region, it lost its contact. Now, if there was a technical problem, 
you know, the pilot would have called for help. There is no distress signal that the courts have suggested as of now. So this raises a lot of questions as well, because as far as A320s are concerned, they have automatic systems to give out data right. on the engine information as well. Third, biggest uh, possibility that is being raised here is that perhaps the aircraft could have deviated from the pl flight plan. Now, if that would have really happened, cruising at around 35,000 feet, you know, the plane can still glide Rishika at to around 80 to 90 miles even after losing power. So if that had happened, the pilots would definitely would have been in control even from that point of time and they could have really sent out the signals as well. And the maintenance base of, of A320 would have known of the scene. That has also not happened. Reports are not suggesting anything in this direction as well. Then the, another possibility is, and the big question that is being raised right now by the expert is that, why didn't the radar cover the air, airplane? Now, r as this is uh, uh, what we are learning from our sources and the reports is that it lost contact uh, at 7, uh, 7.24 local hours uh, when it was uh, at Indonesian Flight Information Region, that is the FIR, and that's 200 nautical miles of Singapore, Jakarta, FIR boundary. Now, now this is not an isolated place. It is a well-traveled route. So it just cannot disappear like that. Yeah, but one thing is also there that, that we had learned uh, through the uh, unfortunate scenario of MH370 that the radar coverage isn't really great over water. But then even that, if that was the concern, even, that, even if the coverage, uh, if you were to believe, was not good, then uh, the pilots definitely get in touch with the various radio frequencies. As I was maintaining last time around, the entire world is divided into sectors, right. you know, and with, there is umbrella of satellites over the sky. There are sensors everywhere. So for a plane to just disappear like that, it is practically impossible. Then uh, lastly, believing that the plane became uncontrollable, even if hypothetically thinking that if there was rapid depressurization, the pilots would have donned their oxygen mask, they would have descended and could have ma made, a, um, made a call. But that also did not happen. And if I may also add, in, uh, with that we have satellite phones in, inside the plane that can uh, the pilots can really get in touch with the base. There are airborne communication and addressing systems that sends out link or about the health of the aircraft. So all speculations at this point of time nothing concrete time is of great uh, great essence right now we are learning that crisis cent uh, center has been set up but concerns Rishika definitely are increasing as time is passing by because no concrete information is coming up right now right, there is no concrete information and no confirmations to uh, the local media reports uh, the latest uh, press release by air asia says that the aircraft was on the submitted flight plan route and was uh, requesting deviation due to en route weather before communication with the aircraft was lost while it was still under the control of the Indonesian air traffic control. So this is pretty much, uh, Pankaj, what we've been saying since the morning that uh, there was a requested deviation in the route plan owing to the turbulence uh, in, in, in the weather in that, in that region. There's also right uh, transponder, if technically speaking, which is at the nose of the aircraft, you know, with, which uh, really helps avert uh, the collisions, which gives the signals about uh, the other aircraft in the right. uh, vicinity. Now, that's just even hypothetically thinking that there was a bird hit, and even if the pilot was not in a position to find about the same, the ATC definitely uh, knows about the exact position of the aircraft. And in a scenario when the pilot is not able to get in touch with the ATC, the ATC on its own uh, separates the other aircrafts. And, and as I said, even thinking of a scenario that the pilot had lost power, it still could glide to 80 to 90 miles even after losing power. And it could have definitely got in touch uh, right. with the ATC. And even uh, if you were to believe that the transponder was switched off, it is not a device, as I said, that you just right. simply push a button and switch off the transponder. It has to be crushed All completely. Right. And if that is the scenario, then this is serious. But as we maintain, again, these are all reports. Right, absolutely. As we've been pointing out to our viewers, all of these reports are in fact in the realm of speculation. The Jakarta-based uh, you know, Guardian contributor has also put uh, put it out on local media outlet that uh, the plane has crashed in Belitung, an island between uh, Java and Sumatra. Uh, the report, of course, is yet to be confirmed by officials. Now, th these are all unconfirmed uh, reports that are trickling in at this point in time. Various news agencies in Indonesia are reporting uh, that the Air Asia flight, which lost contact at 7.24 a.m., has in fact crashed in Belitung. But headlines today cannot confirm any of those reports at this point in time because Air Asia, in their latest statement, have not mentioned any such thing. But there has been... Uh, a latest update that has been issued uh, by uh, the Civil Aviation Authority which claims that the Air Force and the Navy 
have been pressed into service. We, of course, will continue to track developments on uh, this big story. 16 children, remember, on board that flight. 162 passengers on board. Uh, the fate of uh, those passengers at this point in time is unknown.